Yes, my dear friends, I am Srinivas Ayagari in front of you. <coughs> Once again, I am totally emotional today, very much dejected. And a feel of helplessness. The reason being, the way I am seeing the news items in various media platforms about youngsters committing suicide, taking their life out forcibly. We are seeing the kids right from the age of 10 years, spanning up to 20, 25 years, committing suicide for a very, very trivial, small issues, emotional outburst. Their little brain is thinking that doing that act brings them peace of mind or a solution, but they are not understanding the fact that this very act will totally eliminate them from this world. As you are now, my dear friends, in India around one lakh of uh, uh, suicidal deaths are happening in our country. A developed country like America, where there is a lot of psychological and psychiatric support, care and the comfort, so many facilities are there, including the education institutes right from the primary. For every 11 minutes, there is one suicide happening. And recently, I happened to read an article written by uh, Dr. Manju Mehta, a renowned psychiatrist who is working in all of medical sciences. She narrates an incident. One day, I was sitting in my chamber, which will be U-shaped, totally silenced, with the occasional tick-ticks of the uh, alarm clock placed behind my chair. And in front of me, People, the, uh, both father and mother, they were sitting in front of me, almost tears oozing from their eyes. And they were telling me, Madam, the other day we came with our kid, you were telling me so many things what we should do. We did not listen to your advice. And we did not listen to uh, my kid. And the result is, today we don't have my child. He is no more. He has committed suicide last week and forcefully taken his life. The fault, the sin, the crime, what we have committed, now we understand at that time we were like a mad fellows, like a, um, like a master behind a tiger. Um, uh, always after my kid, after our kid, um, taking care, uh, giving warning every time 24 by 7, that you should stand number one in your class, 10th class after all she was studying. Now we realized, but it is too late. This is only one solitary reason I am explaining to you. Previously, when I was a kid, in my olden days, the family structure was a different thing. It was a joint family, a combined family with the aged parents staying with the youngsters and looking care, taking care of the emotional needs of the grandchildren. So there was an emotional bondage so that these kids were always uh, having the chance to go and sit on the laps of the grandfather and grandmother and uh, discuss their own personal problems and their uh, things, their fears and phobias and these uh, elders they used to counsel and casual and comfort them. But now it is totally a nuclear family where and the because of the globalization, both parents are employed and they are busy right from the morning till the dusk to dawn, so seven days a week and uh, 24 by 7 and 365 days they are totally occupied, leaving the kids, there is a lot of gap emotionally, physically, there is a lot of gap between the kids and the parents, as a result, there is, we are not giving any scope or a chance for the kids to express their inner feelings and emotions with their parents, which is making me more isolated, dejected, and they are losing their composure. And even if there is a small, and apart from that, there is a pressure from the parents to show, show more in terms of marks, <coughs> and which is resulting in the kid taking the extreme step of taking their life out. The one more reason I can attribute is giving too much. Yep, too much plenty giving. Suppose a child demands something, immediately giving. I want to go to a movie, let us go. I want to purchase a toy, very expensive toy, give it. 
so the child psychology is tuned to that level means and he will not be in a position to accept any disappointment or any rejection later in their life so whatever they were getting or they wanted they are getting ultimately when they grow up into the adults they cannot face the life real life the way the other kids will be facing so this is one of the very very important reasons why we are seeing the kids committing the youngsters committing suicide for a very very trivial reasons there is a problem of plenty and one more reason is the kind of psycho hormonal turmoil this youth in their uh, adolescence and teenage they will be facing this hormonal uh, turmoil won't allow you to uh, take a, 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 a correct decision see there will be a rage always there lot of high high level of emotion and this lot of level of emotions is certainly a factor for what we are seeing in the form of these youngsters taking their life out so everybody knows the reason so what is the way out is there any way out anything as a member of the family father and mother or as a member of the society a fellow society as a citizen whether i can do anything i just thought in myself yes there is so much we can do when you know what is the problem you will immediately know what is a solution my dear friends talk to your children observe their emotion talk to the friends of your ch- children and just find out how your child is behaving outside in the playground observe whether your there is any uh, uh, change in his behavior whether he has become totally silent what for he is becoming totally silent talk to him counsel him casual him and comfort him spend half an hour every day whatever may be the busy reason you may be having just minimum half an hour you try to spend with your children visit the school once in a week talk to the school teacher and find out not about the academics find out about his mental faculties how he is able to cope up with the education what are the moods that my child is showing in the school any type of rejection any type of dejection or any type of any mental imbalance so you two should find out that aspect never find out okay you can see how my child is very but that should not be a primary factor the primary factor should be about his mental faculty and the best way as an elder of the society having seen the life of six decades and remembering my own experiences when i was a child i request all the uh, parents the uh, current day uh, parents kindly imbibe the qualities of ye a, a, a spirituality some sort of yoga some sort of aerobic exercises some sort of moral classes that i always tell all the my friends in the community where we are sitting here we are making our child to learn guitar play piano do dancing and all but the important aspect that is brain how it is to be controlled cooled casual and comforted nobody is bothering that let us help in establishing some clubs like mind spots where all the kids will be assembled one senior or somebody or a child psychiatrist or a developmental psychiatrist will call them and make them to give some lecture talk to them something regarding our spirituality and make their brain think with logic and reasoning let them also enjoy their own life always the studies always the studies you see I, we are seeing the society where do you think that only iits are flourishing now there are so many people who are from these prestigious universities failing miserably in their life later and come to suicide we are we are witnessing so many such situations because they are unable to accept the rejection or a failure in the society so let us make our children to cope up with the factor called dejection or a disappointment make them to uh, inculcate the habit of boldness to see the reversals in life so this is some of the things the matter is quite arranging anybody wants any sort of any comfort, uh, counseling uh, psychologically on this aspect they can talk to me i am always available at any point of time please talk 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 resolve thank you god bless you shrinivas